हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू ऑटोमेटिकली मॉनिटर ट्विटर फॉर मेंशंस एंड कीवर्ड्स सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल दैट यू हैव क्रिएटेड अ ट्विटर अकाउंट फॉर योर बिजनेस एंड यू हैव क्रिएटेड सम लिस्ट इनटू योर ट्विटर अकाउंट वेयर यू हैव एडेड सम स्पेसिफिक यूजर्स नाउ योर यूजर्स आर क्रिएटिंग न्यू ट्वीट्स ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस but now you want that whenever any of that specific user creates a new tweet and if that tweet contains specific keywords or uh, mentions related to your business then the tweet details should be added to your airtable base but here the problem is that there is no direct connection between your twitter account and airtable base so how it is going to happen so here in this particular video we have came up with an amazing automation by which whenever the tweet is going to contain the business related keywords or mentions automatically the same tweet will be added as a new record into your airtable base and to set up this automation we are going to use pabli connect so basically pabli connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating twitter with airtable account automatically the best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge even a non technical person can use this software application very easily so how you can set up this automation for that you need to come to my screen so welcome back to my screen here let us type p a b b l y pably.com in our browser this is the website of pably here we have to come to products and click on pably connect This is the landing page of Pably Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button. By creating a new account, you are going to get 100 task free every month and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And if the task expires, the 100 free task will be credited to your account in the next month also. Okay? Here, if you already have an account with Pably Connect, click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pably Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pably Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we need to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as monitor twitter for mentions and keywords. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pably Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. trigger means when this happens action means do this so in this particular use case we want to monitor our twitter account for specific mentions or keywords okay for that first we need to connect our twitter account with pably connect so that whenever a new tweet is coming in our twitter account automatically all the tweets are captured in pably connect so let's open this trigger window and here we are going to choose the application name as twitter select the trigger event as new tweet in list click on connect click on add new connection and click on connect with twitter now it is asking authorize pably connect to access your account let's click on authorize app and give away the permissions over here authorization successful and now our twitter account is connected to pably connect now here it is asking for the list id so before that i'll just take you to my twitter account over here we'll move to the list section okay and here you can see i have created two list that is digital marketing news and testing okay i'll just open the list and here you can see that i have five members in this particular list so here i have to give you an important information that you need to add the users to the list in twitter account to track their tweets so i want that whenever any of these members tweets automatically all the tweet details should be captured in pably connect okay for that i have to select the specific list name that is testing over here in pably connect okay so i'm selecting my list id as testing now before clicking on save and send test request i'm just going to create a new tweet because after clicking on this option it is going to capture the latest response okay so let's move to the twitter account once again okay and from here i am just going to switch the account and here will be uh, creating a tweet on the name of some other person who is already added in my testing list okay and here we are going to create a new tweet so let's click on tweet so here i have posted a message facing some issues in creating the workflows in pably connect can anybody help me to set up the automation and i have tagged pably 18 over here 
Okay, now let's click on tweet. So here we can see that a new tweet is posted. Now let's move back to public connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request. Okay, and let's scroll down and here we can see that all the details related to the new tweet are captured over here. We can find the created date and time. Here we can find the full text. Okay, the same tweet was posted and when we scroll down, we can find the uh, mentions also. It was the at the rate probably 18 and even the username is details. Okay, and some other details related to the tweet are captured over here. Okay, now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the data just because the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive. Okay. So now we want that the workflow should continue only when the particular tweet contains some special words or some special keywords like Pabli, Pabli Connect or Pabli 18 or something like that. Okay, for that we are going to apply a filter. Okay, and let's come to the action step and here we are going to choose the application name as filter. So filter is basically an if condition. So if the condition satisfies, then only this particular workflow should run further. So here we'll be selecting the label, come to Twitter and here we have to select full text. So if the text contains Pabli word, then this workflow should run. I am going to set one more condition by clicking on this plus sign or condition. Okay. And if the full text contains Pabli connect, okay. And here let us set one more or condition that if the full text contains at the rate Pabli 18. Okay, probably 18. So here we have specified the conditions that if the full text contains Pabli or if the full text contains Pabli connect or if the full text contains Pabli 18 at the rate Pabli 18, then only this particular workflow should run. So let us check the condition by clicking on save and send test request. So here we have got the response status as success message condition is true. So why the condition is true over here? Because the words, the value satisfies the condition. Yeah, we can see public is there in the full text. Even public connect is there and even public 18 is also there. So if any of these words comes in the full text, the workflow is going to run. Okay. So now I want that whenever the condition satisfies, the details or the tweet details should be added to my Airtable base. But first we need to check whether the tweet is already existing in my Airtable base or not. Okay, for that, let's click on this plus sign add action step. And here I'm just going to choose the application name as Airtable. Select the action event as search record. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now here it is asking for the token. Log into Airtable to get your API key from the account section. So let's move to the Airtable account. So this is my Airtable account. Here I'll be clicking on this profile and here we'll be clicking on account. And when we scroll down, we can find the API key over here. Let's copy it and I'll be pasting it over here in Pabli Connect as a token and click on save. And now the Airtable account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here it is asking for the base, table name and field name. So I've already created a base in my Airtable account over here. Let's scroll down and I'll just show you the base. So the base name is new tweets. Okay, let us select the same base over here as new tweets. And meanwhile, I'll just open the base over here. So here in this base, I have created a table name Pabli tweets. So let us select the same table name over here. So it is automatically captured just because I have created a single table in this particular base. If you have created multiple tables, you have to select the table name from the drop down. Now it is asking for the field name. So here I'll be selecting the field name as tweet. So these are the field names that I have given in my table over here. You can see tweet date and time, tweet, tweet ID, tweet URL. So I want to search the tweet column. Okay, so I am selecting the same field name over here as tweet. 
okay not is asking for the search value what do you want to search in this particular field so here i'll be mapping the value that we have got from our trigger response okay and the trigger response uh, the value would be full text so we'll be mapping full text over here okay so let us map the value come to twitter and from here let us map the full text so this particular value will be searched in the base named new tweets in the table name pably tweets and the field would be tweet okay let's search it and let's click on save and send test request and here we have got a blank response because this particular value does not exist in this particular field name now here we are going to specify a condition that this workflow should run further only if this particular value is not existing in our a table base okay for that we have to click on this plus sign add action step and here we will be applying one more filter so click on filter so here we will be selecting the label as created at and the filter type will be does not exist so if this particular value does not exist then only the workflow should run okay because the created date and time will be unique for each and every tweet let's check the condition let's click on save and send test request and here we have got the status as error message condition is false just because this particular tweet or the created date and time does not exist in our a table base so let's create a record in a table click on this plus sign add action step and here let us choose the application name as a table once again select the action event as create record click on connect click on add new connection and now it is asking for the token so we have already created a connection in our previous step so we'll be you uh, choosing this option that is select existing connection and now let's click on save and now the airtable account is connected to pably connect now again we have to select the base id so let us select it as new tweets the table name is automatically captured now we'll be mapping the details okay that we have got from our trigger response so let us map the tweet date and time from twitter it was created date and time here we'll be mapping the tweet data that was full text here we'll be mapping the tweet id so let us map the id also here it is asking for the tweet url media url so you can just give the url over here if you want to mention it and now let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received it means a new record is created in our airtable base let's check it let's move to our airtable base over here i'm just going to refresh it okay and here we have got the details we have got the created date and time here we have got the tweet and here we have got the tweet id also and here we haven't mentioned the url between url and media url so these fields are blank okay and in this way we have set up the automation now let's move back to pably connect and let us save this workflow first data save successfully okay now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not okay so i'll just move to my twitter account and here i'll be just changing the name of the user okay and this time let us select another user from here and we are going to create the post through this particular user id and let's click on tweet and i'll be just adding the text over here so here i have entered the message as thank you pably connect for helping me to automate my business okay and now let's click on tweet okay and here we can see that the tweet is uh, posted over here now this particular workflow is going to run only when this particular user is added to the list so i have already shown you the list and this particular user is there in the list now we have to check whether the same post is added or the same tweet is added to our airtable base or not let's move to our airtable base and here i'm just going to refresh it and here even after refreshing we can't find the post details or the tweet details captured over here just because i have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response so we have to wait for some time okay and here we can see that after 7 to 8 minutes the details of the new tweet are added as a new record over here in our airtable base so in this way our integration is perfectly working fine now let us check this one more time okay i'll just move to the twitter account and here i'll be just posting uh from my account itself and let's see whether the same details or the tweet details are captured in our airtable base or not so here i'll just create a new tweet 
and here let us type a random message uh, Pavli connect is an automation and integration software okay I'm just posting a random message okay uh, I'll just make this a capital and let's click on tweet so the tweet is created over here now let's move back to our Airtable base and I'll just refresh it and I'll be just waiting here for another five more minutes to check whether our trigger is running or not okay and if the trigger is not running it means our integration is perfectly working fine just because this particular uh, user does not exist in our list okay and let us wait for some time over here okay and here you can see that after 10 minutes also the detail, details are not added over here in our Airtable base just because the user was not existing in our Twitter list and in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine so let's move back to public connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now okay let me just minimize Airtable the filter step as well as the trigger window also so first we have created an integration between Twitter and public connect so that whenever a uh, existing user which, who is there in the list tweets the details are captured in public connect then we have applied the filter over here that the workflow should run only if the full text or the tweet is containing a public word public connect word or it is at the rate public 18 okay then we have searched the record in our Airtable base and we have specified the condition that if the workflow should run only if the record is not existing and at last using the details of the tweet we have created a new record in our Airtable base and in this way we have learned that how we can monitor Twitter for mentions and keywords using public connect so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli connect in case of any queries you can visit our Pabli forum to check the pricing details of Pabli connect you can visit this particular URL also the link of Pabli connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.